gauge on a flat, horizontal and non-slip surface, with the zero mark on the scale closest to you. Then, place a suitable amount of the material you're testing in the deep end of the channel or channels. You should slightly overfill the channels to ensure you have enough of a sample. Holding the scraper in both hands, place it behind the material. Depending on the test method or standard you're working to, you should hold the scraper either perpendicularly to the surface of the gauge, or with the scraper slightly angled towards you. Now, pull the scraper along the length of the gauge at a constant speed, applying downward pressure as you do to push any excess material to the edges of the gauge. Stop the pull at a point beyond the zero depth on the gauge, ensuring your sample has been scraped over the entire length of the channel or channels. You could even place a sacrificial piece of paper or cover at the end of the gauge and scrape the excess material straight onto it, making it easier to clean later. This whole action should take around one to two seconds in total. Within seconds of completing the pull, turn the gauge sideways so it's perpendicular to you and view the surface of the material at a 20 to 30 degree angle to read the result. If you're using the Alcometer 2020 or Alcometer 2050, look at the deep end of the gauge and move to the zero and find a band across the channel or channels that's three millimeters or an eighth of an inch wide which contains 5 to 10 particles of the material. Once located, read the position of the upper limit of this band on the scale and record the value.